after sculpting the guides, we see that the hairs in between uh, in the center can't really go to either of these guides, but we can help uh, them decide uh, where uh, which guide to use by using uh, region maps. This feature is uh, found uh, in the guide deformer. If you select the guide deformer, here it is. It is a hidden one, uh, but you can still affect it with all, all sorts of uh, mask groups. And most sensible uh, mask group would be uh, here, the texture mask group. So let's create a texture mask group, just like the mask for density map. Let's uh, create here another texture node, call it a region map and choose a color. So for every color, we have a region. And if we have uh, one color, it is already a region. So as you can see, I have entered the painting mode and uh, here are some things to think about. You should be always aware of what your fall off uh, looks like. Select this kind of harsh fall off. It will give us the ability to make this harsh border. And also I would disable the uh, stylus sensitivity and the strength should be always at one. It's important to have a color. I'm going to disable mirror option as well so I can paint on the half of the geometry and as you can see as soon as I start to paint the hairs uh, will try to find the uh, guides which are in this uh, green region and let's select the geometry and enter the sculpt mode and now I can toggle a local mode and kind of hide everything else one thing that you should be always uh, aware of I uh, avoid uh, leaving this kind of fall-offs. It will uh, cause some problems, some issues uh, in the guide modifier, guide deformer. So avoid that and paint everything with the color without no fall-off. No, so th this is also not a good thing. So paint it back. I'm picking the color with the S key, just hovering over and then picking the color. Yeah, I think we're good to go. So it doesn't really matter what, what you do here, really. Most important thing is if you have some hairs here, then they are going to become another region. And you can also uh, have multiple regions, so it's not limited to two colors. You can have some other uh, regions here and there. So it might look weird. Uh, probably it's better to have more guides per region, but it's uh, it also works uh, usually with one guide as well, like this. Yeah, I think I'm fine with that. Yeah, let's continue. We are going to add clump deformer, but first we have to select our main hair object. And as you can see, the icon of this object is highlighted now. So that means that this object is active. So even if we click away, it is still active. So if you add another deformer here, uh, the deformer will be added to this node tree here. And uh, select your last deformer here. And right on top of it, we are going to add Clump Deformer. As you can see, it has already an influence. And you can see that Clump Profile can be defined here. I'm not going to talk about each and every parameter here. This probably be a little bit overwhelming. I'm going to focus on uh, some of the most important ones. Well, let's talk about the way the clumps are distributed right now. They're distributed on each and every guide. So if you want to have more clumps, you will have to enter the guide uh, sculpt mode and at the clumps manually. But this is not what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to disable this option. And if we do that, you'll see it looks a little bit ugly. That's because our density value, clump density value is a little bit on the lower side. So let's increase that and we see that now we have a little bit more clumps. They no longer follow each and every guide, but they follow the overall hair shape, previous hair shape. So you can see the flow of the previous uh, hairs are now respected by these newly generated clumps. We can choose to increase it a little bit more, but uh, keep in mind, uh, if you go way up here, you will really not notice any clumps. That's because we have right now too many clumps and the effect is not visible after a certain amount. This amount is going to depend on your sculpt geometry size on your scale of the geometry so uh, this is not something that is always the same for each and every group you should always play around with that for now i'm going to say that i'm fine with the follow guide curves option this is by default always enabled and i'm going to also choose to enable cavity world and let's make it look a little bit more 
a bit more defined. So the cavity helps a lot. This add-on supports multiple clump deformers in a row in lots of different constellations. Let's add another clump deformer. As you can see, we have, right now have two clump deformers and the effect looks almost the same. And that's because we have this option enabled again. But if we opt to, to disable it and increase the density, maybe not that much, maybe this much. We'll see if we go up and down with the mask slider. Now we can blend between these two clumps. We can also choose to mask out this mask with some mask groups. But for now, I'm going to say that this is not what I'm going to use it for at the moment. And uh, I'm going to enable different option. It is down here, follow previous clump. And as you can see, maybe you cannot see that well. That's because of the profile. The profile of the second clump deformer a little bit more thinner. And as you can see, the clumps are now, the bigger clumps are now broke down into more smaller clumps go down to the noise parameter uh, right here noise scale increase it a bit so i'm going to adjust the curve scale noise scale profile and a little bit uh, noise frequency i'm not going to go too up too far away this is going to be good now i'm going to go to the first clump deformer and go down to the curl scale because on this one i'm going to change add a curl let's disable the second curl deformer so we can see what happens with the first one and also disable the guide curves you can disable them here or there it doesn't really matter and as you can see uh, the frequency is too low I'm going to increase it maybe three and they all look the same and we can randomize it by the random mask group we are, have added random mask group and let's open up we want to have the same frequency at the bottom as the tip of the hair and uh, as max we are going to choose four minimum two or maybe three and two or maybe three and one a little bit higher something like this so maybe choose a little bit different seat if we disable the mask group you'll see the difference here and there also i'm going to change a bit the scale profile so at the beginning i don't want to have that much of an influence of a curl so this is what it looks like right now. Without the profile, it looks something like this, which is kind of ugly. After we are done with it, we can enable the clumps again. Let's decrease the scale a bit of the previous of this clump deformer a bit. Yeah. As soon as you want to add a noise deformer, you can do that as well. This can be done by adding this noise deformer here. Let's uh, go a little bit down with the scale, maybe something like this and increase the noise so we have more details here in the noise maybe 15 will be enough noise scale profile can be adjusted as well so we have noise up here and one of the most important features uh, of this add-on is this percentage mask group and you can add it to your mask parameter here for example like this percentage mask since you do that, you'll see that percentage mask has this percentage uh, percent value. You can increase it. So right now only 40% of the hairs are affected and some of them will have a zero effect and others will have one. You also want to have the effect at the root as well. I don't like this hair here, so that's why I'm going to maybe choose another seed. Yeah, and this looks more or less okay for me. So that's it, and we have finished the all of the deformation. One more thing you have probably noticed that the separation is no longer there. That's because we don't have the region map on our two clump deformers here. So select the first clump deformer, go down to your region map, add texture mask group, go to your tex texture mask group node, add a previously selected region map, enter its edit mode. And the most important thing for the region maps is always to use them with uh, the closest interpolation in the image texture node. So let's do that for the clump deformer, second clump deformer as well. I've added the texture mask group and select the image texture. Enter its edit mode once again and choose the closest here. And probably you'll see that there are some issues here. And that's probably because we also forgot to change this setting for the guide deformer as well. So enter its edit mode, set it to closest. And if the issue still persists, probably what you have done is you have an issue with your region map. Let's enter its sculpt mode and let's examine the region mask. And what I myself cannot see, but if I disable the hairs, 
I will see that I've painted some yellow values here, which is not ideal. I'm going to fix that by picking the red color with S key or the green color and painting this away. As soon as we do that and enable hair mask, uh, hairs again, we'll see that we don't have this weird hairs. And this is what we've got. Uh, we can still do lots of adjustments here and there and make it uh, perfect, but it will be enough for now. I'm working on the different series where I'm going to go more in depth into different deformers. So if you're interested, you can subscribe. Thanks for support and yeah, bye bye.